What's going on everybody? This is Mark Kaiser with The Mobile Home Dealer coming to you with another educational video. And as you see, I'm not sitting down, I'm walking around, I'm getting a little warm day because we don't have AC in the, in the mobile home that we're in today, but I appreciate uh, you coming out and, and taking a look at our educational video. We're on the road, and what we're gonna be doing here today is talking about one big problem that you'll see in mobile homes, not all the time, but enough that we need to break, make a video about it. And that's the world of termites. What are termites? How do they get in your house? What do they look like? And how you, as a mobile home buyer or seller, can take care of them for not a lot of money. And stick around towards the end of the video, guys, and uh, I'll show you a, a tip if you want to save a lot of money on a purchase of a home. Sounds crazy, but don't be afraid of the termites. Okay, so if, but before we get started on that, if you've seen any one of our videos, y'all know what I'm gonna ask you to do. Just do us a huge favor. If you find any benefit of these educational videos to you, please like and subscribe to the channel below so that you're up to speed with everything that he, we here at the Mobile Home Dealer are doing. Thank you so much for being a part of this video. Thank you so much for being a part of the community. Let's get started on the termites. Okay, so when you're looking at buying or selling a mobile home, you always wanna be conscious of termites, okay? And here's why, all right? Mobile homes, their flooring structure is totally different than that of a single family home. The flooring structure is gonna be wood-based, okay? It's not gonna be like a concrete block or a, or a concrete uh, surface like you may have in a single family home. It's not the case. Mobile homes, the walls and the flooring system, okay, they're all going to be wood-based. Now, with that being said, if it's wood-based, you gotta watch out for termites. Okay, because termites are going to get into the wood. They're going to kind of munch their way. All the what is this? They're going to munch, munch. Their, what is Pac-Man? They're going, they're they're going to uh, eat away at the flooring system. Okay, and they're going to cause a lot of problems to you if they're not taken care of. Okay, so what do termites look like? Well, fancy you should ask because in this mobile home that I'm in here today, I see a lot of them. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and show you what they look like, where they're going to be at in a house, and where to look for them. When you're touring a mobile home. Let's go take a look. Okay guys, so when we're looking at a mobile home, okay, and we're walking through a house, we want to make sure that we always check on the window sills, okay. Uh, we got termites all over the window sills here, okay. Obviously you can see them there, see them over here. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up here, but you see a bunch of wings here as well. And there's another large colony down here, if you can see that in the camera. So that's what you're gonna be looking for. Uh, termites can come up anywhere. They're usually the easiest place to find them are gonna be along the floorboards, okay? Or right next to the, um, to the window sills there. Another popular spot that you'll see them is on the floor towards the door, okay? Doesn't look like we have a whole lot over there, but as we pan over, I just start to see where they go. So, what does that mean? Would you buy a house with termites? Would I buy a house with termites? Well, it kind of depends, uh, before we answer that question, on what are those termites gonna do and how bad the damage is, okay? So the thing about termites is, when you see them in a house, you don't really know how bad they are because again, the flooring system is wood-based, okay? So um, if they're like what we just saw here, um, the house definitely has them, okay? Um, it could be really bad, it could just be a spot, you don't really know, okay? So if you really wanna see how bad the, the, the damage is, entertain the idea of getting a home inspection on your house, um, and then that'll give you an idea about how bad really the termite infestation or the damage is. Um, now, but keep in mind, okay, keep in mind, if you're buying an older mobile, mobile home, regardless of where you are in the country, because the flooring system's wood-based and the wall system is wood-based, it's not gonna be uncommon to, to, to hear or see of some type of termite damage. Now, whether you physically see them like we just did or not, it's another story. But actually having damage in a house due to termites, if it's an older home, don't be that surprised again because it's a wood-based floor, it's a wood-based wall system. So you always wanna make sure that you can prevent major problems from happening. Uh, in mobile homes. The, the deal with termites, it's actually very inexpensive to take care of them, um, actually to prevent them. Most every area that, in the country that has mobile homes is gonna offer some type of a pest service. Um, 
There's different packages that'll, that, that'll do different springs, uh, either it's monthly or quarterly, a couple times a year. You're just gonna have to call the local pest services in your area, find a package that works for your budget and for the frequency. Make sure you get that signed up. It's not that expensive when you consider it as kind of an insurance policy. Because again, like we said before, if you don't get it taken care of and the, those little critters start eating away at the flooring system and they get into your walls, we can have a serious, serious problem on our hands. So always look to make sure that you get your pest service taken care of and sign up with a reputable company in your local area to have that done so you can avoid termites in the first place. So now let's say you're gonna go buy the home and it's got termites or the inspection says it has termites or like we saw here today, it's got termites. What do you do? Well, <clears throat> you can do a couple different things. What I would suggest is uh, any type of um, uh, critter service or pest service is gonna offer what they call a tent job on a mobile home, okay? Kind of like you, you, you tint your windows, you know, to, to make them darker so it's cooler. Kind of the same idea, okay? You, you, the, the same spelling anyway. Um, when you tent a mobile home, what you gotta know is that um, they're gonna put a huge tarp over the entire home. You've gotta leave the house, your pets, your kids, family members, all your food, everything has to be pulled out of the house that could possibly have damage done to it. Um, they wrap it up in a big cocoon, looks like, a, you know, it's kinda what it looks like. And then they, they, they tent it, they blast it with chemicals and they kill every critter there. A couple days later, they take the cocoon off and there you go, your, your house has been tented. Um, how much does that cost? Well, it varies, again, from, from part of the country to part of the country. Uh, rough number, uh, a couple thousand dollars uh, for a single wide, maybe a little bit more for a double wide, okay? Again, it'll vary. Just check with your local services wherever you are watching this video. Um, but it's not that expensive uh, to have that done as a peace of mind. In order to avoid that, though, Make sure you keep up with, if, you're, if you own a mobile home or if you're just getting ready to buy one, okay, make sure you keep up with the regular pest services so you avoid the problem with the damage and the more expensive tinting. So as I said at the beginning of the video, how can you save money doing this? Well, most houses that are for sale that have termites, especially termites like that, most of the houses, they'll just sit on the market. And they'll sit on the market for a long time because for the obvious reason it has termites. So if you're looking at buying a mobile home, okay, and you're on a tight budget and you wanna get a really good deal, entertain the idea, just entertain it, entertain the idea of seriously looking at a house with termites. Get a home inspection, get a, um, a professional from the, the pest industry to take a look at it. And the reason why is because you, you can use that as a massive, massive negotiation tool because most folks do not wanna mess with that. Okay, so if you're, if you're willing to entertain that idea to take on a home with some termites and it passes, it doesn't have a lot of uh, problems with it from a structural standpoint, but you do see them, um, use, that to your, use that to your advantage, guys, especially right now in this crazy real estate market when everybody's you know, feeling the crunch of, of, of the financial, financial issue that we're in here as a country. Entertain that idea. Okay, entertain that idea because most folks won't touch it. Most sellers, if they know they have them, or if you see them like we did here today, they, they just want to get rid of it. So you can usually scoop up a mobile home on the market, regardless of where you are in the country when you're watching this, for a very, very deep discount if it does have termites. So something to think about when you're looking at a mobile home. Always look around the, the floorboards. Always make sure you look for those critters. And if you do, Make sure you make note of that. Guys, this is Mark Kaiser with The Mobile Home Dealer. Thanks so much for taking a look at this uh, video about termites. Again, do us a huge favor. If you found any value in this, home, uh, in, the, in this home, in this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. It helps us out quite a bit because it tells us what you folks want us to continue to bring as far as content. Thanks so much, guys. We'll see you on the next one.